I think some people think they can actually withdraw from culture. Now there's a danger to that. Number one is, is we don't accomplish what God wants us to in the world. Uh, the Apostle Paul tells the uh, the skeptics on Mars Hill that God determines the times that people live in the boundaries of their dwelling place. So we live in this particular cultural moment, not by accident, but by the intention of God. But, but, but there's also the idea that you can fully withdraw from culture is just an illusion. We certainly can draw some lines and make a decision whether to go to this movie or that movie or be involved in, you know, with this political party or that one. But humans are cultural creatures. It's actually part of what we were intended to do by God, to be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, and subdue it. In addition to the great commission to share the gospel, there's the cultural mandate, which is just to be human and do stuff in the world. And some of the most impactful Christian lives were those who weren't missionaries and weren't pastors. They were entrepreneurs and business leaders and artists, and they were able to engage the culture in a way that pointed people to Christ.